don't know about you, but I get excited about local herbs. And I want to show you just how easy it is to grow local herbs on Guam. We're here right in the middle of Guam where we get our herb supply from Rosario Family Gardens. And Mrs. Rosario is going to tell you just how easy it is to grow herbs on Guam. How easy is it? Just put it in the ground. So there you have it. It's that easy. Actually, there's a little bit more to it. She says when she first plants the, uh, the herb, she mixes in with a little bit of soil. Johnji also describes herself as a lazy gardener, which is why she places the herb next to a good water source. So she doesn't have to water the plants that often. She gets the water coming directly from the drain and the roof all the way down and all the way to the plant. So it kind of waters itself. Smart. Lazy gardening. This is rosemary. This is oregano. And this is dill weed. We're gonna show you how we incorporate it into our cooking at Pika's Cafe. I wanna show you how easy it is to make pickles using fresh local ingredients. Rice vinegar, red onions, local cucumbers, sugar, and fresh dill. Here's what it looks like afterwards. We're gonna show you how we use local local rosemary and oregano on our food with the vegan rancheros that we serve here at Pika's. It's real easy. It starts off with the ranchero sauce, roasted tomatoes, garlic, and fresh rosemary, a little bit of olive oil. Let's throw this in the oven for about 35 to 40 minutes, and that's going to be the base of our ranchero sauce, starting off with the roasted tomatoes. And now the ranchero sauce. Fresh roasted tomatoes that I showed you earlier, a little bit of our homemade salsa, and our fresh local oregano. So this is our vegan rancheros. It has soy chorizo, guam tofu, black beans, red potatoes, and it comes with flour tortilla. You got that ranchero sauce over there that we put our local oregano and rosemary in. Then we also have local green onions and the guam fresh tofu. Four locally produced ingredients right here in one plate served just for you. Unlike Mrs. Rosario, I don't have a green thumb. That's why I appreciate our farmers here so much. Without you, Pika's Cafe wouldn't be what it is today. So I encourage you all to grow some herbs in your backyard. The freshness will put a smile on your face.